Oh god. No. That's so cute. They put it in like a special cup. <laughs> Where's she going? Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be reacting to Odyssey Check-In Lisa's interview. Um, I'm really excited for this because I have been seeing this interview floating around. Obviously, I haven't watched it. That's that's why I'm reacting to it. But I wanted to react to it today. Um, I do a couple of these interviews on my YouTube channel where I just sit down and watch the interview and react to it. Um, and I really like these videos and I think you guys really like these videos. So yeah, we're going to be doing this today. If you guys have anything else you guys want me to react to, you can always leave a comment down below um, and let me know what you guys would like for me to watch. I always look at the comments for you guys' um, recommendations. So yeah, we're going to be doing this today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, I do a lot of Blackpink, like a lot of Blackpink. So if you guys like that, make sure to subscribe, put your push notifications on. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Check in. What's up? My name is Brew. It is an Odyssey check-in with the one and only. Odyssey. The multi-talented. You know her from Blackpink. You, you know already know. Money. Oh. <laughs> we welcome oh. Lisa in. Not the prop. How are you? I'm good. I'm good to be here. Oh, it's, it's so, so nice good to see you. you. I know. I'm so, I've been so looking forward to this check-in. Okay. First of all, fine. Second of all. And I'm sure you've just been all over the Give place. Give it a minute. So busy, but we'll start with just that, a check-in. How have you been? Like, what you been up to? Um, I'm Also fine. <laughs> I'm just here for, you know, promotion for money. And I'm just, okay. you know, meeting up with friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just this up. is LA? Absolutely. How's how's the past guess? Like 18 months been with the pandemic and all that? Uh, I mean, you've been staying busy or did you take some time for yourself? Oh, um, no, I always stay busy mm -hmm. and I just want to if I have free busy. time, I just want to stay in home to stay, you know, safe. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, true, true. No partying, no nothing studio. crazy. Do some recording, yeah. I know, and we're anxiously. I mean, she also is vaxxed, so it's like big, not that crazy, but project, your first solo album. Yeah. And well, honestly, first thing I think about I've been hearing a lot of cases. Side note, I've been hearing a lot of cases of people who are vaccinated getting COVID. Um, I think if you're vaccinated, it's not like the symptoms aren't as like crazy as it would be if you weren't vaccinated. But people are still getting it if you're vaccinated, so. Be careful, um, especially like now. I feel like it's getting really bad. Like I could tell you, I could count how many people I know um, that have COVID right now, and it's kind of insane and it's kind of scary. So please be careful. Things are getting scary out there again. And so just try and stay home as much as you can. Wear a mask as much as you can. I know people started like not wearing their masks. I say wear your mask again. I've been wearing mine. Um, so yeah, stay stay healthy and. You know, do what you gotta do to keep yourself good and, and, and not, you know, get COVID. And you take that transition from doing a group project mm -hmm. to your own thing. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. What changed? Like, what was different this time? Um, It's not that much different, mm -hmm. but for me, I feel like I always have, like, my girls by my side. Like, I feel like, like, you know. That's I'm my safe, girl. It reminds me of that Fifth Harmony song. Them, That's my like, girl. Oh my God, like, I have to do everything by myself like mm. i'm kind of worried but it's okay guess they're yeah. always one call away you yeah. can always hit them up yeah. true and, and they 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 come to me and like cheering me up mm -hmm. so yeah they're so sweet yeah have yeah. you reached out from time to time just when super you super supportive yeah well, that's amazing yeah. Well, I love uh, the way you've done it, where you've released a couple, you know, teases of what's coming mm. on the album. It's my favorite um, thing about K-pop. Messaging gets kind of <laughs> not my favorite, but you know what I mean. Where, like I love that they do that. Uh, you know, we find a couple songs that we love, and you don't really listen to the whole thing mm -hmm. as a whole. In this album that you're working on, what's kind of the message behind it? The message is, you know, the song is like, bad bitch. about <laughs> me, <laughs> me, Lalisa, it's and true. Lalisa, like it's the song that like I I kind of like because I like K-pop mm -hmm. and. Well, um, I think it's a great combination because the title is Lalisa. It's totally see. I, this kind of reminds me, like you know, when you get a tattoo and people are like, "What's the meaning?" and you have to have like this deep, what's the word? Solof that word? I sorry, I, I can't talk. Um, I feel like money is just like that song that just makes you feel like a bad bitch, and I feel like she wants to say that. She wants to just be like, it's just like a bad bitch anthem, like. It's just like get your money and be that girl kind of kind of song, you know, a feel good song. 
and I feel like everybody's looking for like this deep meaning behind money but it's like can't this song just be a fun song can't it just be a good song like I don't know I feel like La Lisa has a way bigger meaning um because it's like her being like I'm La Lisa like I'm not just Lisa from Blackpink I'm also La Lisa and yeah I don't know and money is like a song that you can like buy it like yeah you know. exactly yeah. so I, re- I i i really like the the both of them yeah. focusing on you mm-hmm. living your best life mm-hmm. are you uh, learning new stuff about yourself as you're working on something like this yes like i got to know me better mm-hmm. <laughs> like because i have to you know i'm involved in um the album design too mm-hmm. like even though picking my outfits for the music video like get to know me better mm-hmm. yeah so it's kind of challenging and i have fun with you know preparing things absolutely well, that must be so much fun we talk about how so uh, much fun music for you is all about like confidence you know right. mm-hmm. What do you do when sometimes maybe your confidence is That's a good word to explain to That's a a good know? word to explain Blackpink as a whole like their 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 aura it gives confidence which I love. Yes, do you do course. a pep talk? Do you have a routine something to get you back into it? A pep talk is like the, it's important. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, you know. Um I do call my mom ask her like we all do you gotta yeah, call the mom you know i gotta call mom you know like after i talk with her i feel like okay refresh mm-hmm. right i feel like me okay, i can do maybe i call my mom way too much but i i always call my mom for everything that's always like the number one you know your mom like that's mom, always your family, number one support mom's like my yeah. best friend <laughs> they're so supportive of you yes, yes. that's amazing mm-hmm. so the two new songs that you've released uh, as we're waiting for the whole project lalisa i mean You've had some really cool inspirations on that song with some different sounds. What'd you include in that? Oh, um, in La Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, La Lisa. It's about me because the song name is La Lisa. It's (laughs) me. Of course. So I I told my uh, producer, Teddy, that... Radisa? She sounded very Australian. I I told my uh, producer, Teddy, that... Radisa? Radisa? Oh, I really want to. I wish I had an Australian accent. That's like one of my favorite accents. Besides like a British accent, I love Australian accents. So good. I wish I could do it. I can't even do it in like n- trying to be serious. Nur. Nur. That's like the best I can do. <laughs> High vibe. Mm. Like, even though, like, in the music video, I wanted to show them that because they don't, like, some of them, they didn't, they don't know that I'm from Thailand mm-hmm. and I'm Thai, right? So I just want to, you know, show them that, you know, who I am. And so true too. Yeah, I had to look that up as well. I was like, oh my oh. gosh, what is this influence? Because I, I uh-huh. was like something we've never heard before. Well, the cool part where she's like wearing the cr- so the, long, the, 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 the crown. I forget what it's called, but it's like a those, traditional you know. like yes, tie. They're so crown, nice that I think? they're like, okay, mm-hmm. let's do it. Let's try. Like, they say okay. Yeah, they're like so positive with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then it's money perfect. blowing up on like first time I ever heard it was TikTok. Like, I, I'm a big oh, TikTok guy. TikTok, See, everyone doing dances. Everyone's yeah. doing the trends. I did the dance. <laughs> oh. I tried. Oh. <laughs> Not pretty. It <laughs> flopped. But Money is a cool story as well. Like, you really fell in love with the song when you heard, was it yes. the demo? Yes. Like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, my God, I need to do this. Like, mm-hmm. this is going to be my solo song. Like, mm-hmm. for sure. And Teddy said, Teddy's agree with. And, yeah. We tried, and I think, voila. <laughs> what, what was it about voila. it? Was it the demo? How raw was it? Was it like right when you heard the beginning, like the very uh, infant stages of the song before it was all produced? Or um, It's like, it's just a demo, like mm-hmm. a normal demo. But as soon as I hear, I was like, I can imagine me dancing already mm. in that song. Yeah. Yeah, so I think. Now else she said that it. in her like, last interview. Just- like, I could imagine me dancing to the song, like already imagining the dance moves and i feel like lisa is such a like dance girl you know like lisa is a dance girl like i would be surprised if like anything else came before that like i feel like that's like the first thing that would pop into her head like i could dance to this somebody click. else it just clicked uh-huh yeah. you talk about <laughs> adding thai elements and mm-hmm. you just resonate so well with um so many different cultures i don't know if you knew this i want to make sure i get it right you're the first k-pop musician to hit number one on billboard's latin sales chart which what? is latin? Oh. latin sales chart she's How? like what <laughs> right because you just you resonate so well with so many people you have fans from all across she's the like, world what? what do you think resonates so well with them i think um i have like 
Come on, Latinas and Latinos. Y'all doing a damn thing. Thank you. Representing. Around the world. That's mm -hmm. why. So maybe they're I love like, that. noticing me and... You know what's funny? Yeah, I like went waiting. to Puerto Rico to like visit family and stuff, and I heard it, this is the first time I've ever heard like K-pop being played in a store. Like I heard BTS, I think it was DNA or something, playing in the store, and I was shook. And it, it was playing on the radio too, like in the main radio. That doesn't happen around where I live in, in like New Jersey. Does not happen in Puerto Rico. It was all over the place. Like I could, they were playing K-pop all over the place. I was so excited. I was like what for my solo for so long too mm -hmm. and i'm so happy that you know they love my songs mm -hmm. because i love my songs yeah. <laughs> and i'm happy that they're like having a good time listening my, my song right yeah. and it shows through you can tell like you doing what you love and mm -hmm. now focusing on yourself mm -hmm. it's they can tell like this is the real you no. Um, you're getting to do some fun other projects. You got to work with DJ Snake and mm -hmm. Megan Stallion, Ozuna, wow. and SG. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. What's the dynamic to work so with good. Like, such different artists? Um, it, Unfortunately, that mm -hmm. I can whoa, get to meet whoa. them and film the music, I music, music I flow. Them, <laughs> yeah. but, but still, like, I can feel it in the song. Like, when I hear I know, like, what you go sing, dancing, Megan dancing, raps, dancing. and me mm -hmm. together, collaboration is like, oh, so interesting. I really like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I want to meet them, like, and. Oh, yeah. Um, you have to do this song live. At yes. Some point, you know? yes, 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 yes. That oh, would so be a dream. That would be a dream to see Osuna, Megan Thee Stallion, and Lisa, and. DJ Snake? DJ Snake? I think. <laughs> Especially with Megan. Oh my gosh. She's just like oh my God, the real hot girl stuff. She'll get you. Yeah. Performance. <laughs> She'll get all the moves. Um, oh, the twerking things. <laughs> yeah. All oh, the twerking things. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's tough. I try. Was, again, failed that one too. Um, with this pandemic and everything, it's been uh, a blur in time. Like, I, it's hard to tell. Like, oh, that was two years ago already. Already, time flies. Can you believe that ice cream? Oh. It's been over a year now. What? With Selena, it's been like 13 months. I looked it up. Or maybe really? 14, almost a little longer than a year. Uh, Alrighty, huh? I know. And now you're doing a similar path where you're on your own journey. Mm -hmm. When working on something like that with Selena, did she give you either mm -hmm. just from observing her or yeah. any advice that she gave you that you kind of stuck with? Um, We had like um video chat for like a few times. Mm -hmm. And she really nice. Like she gave me like... She gave us like, um, you know, like a. I just I don't. Why, I like okay. I don't want to be mean, but this happened in the last interview too. Why is it that they always have to bring in somebody else? That's like, like why do they always do that? Like this is a Lisa interview, you know. I get it, but also I don't because it's such an unnecessary answer because like. What if they're like not close and you're asking this question? Like, what do you, what do they expect for them to say? Like, yeah, we're besties. We hang out all the time. Like, here's some tea about Selena. Like, I don't know what they want from them. I don't know. Positive energy. And I'm, I really want to see her again. And if I can work with her again, I would love it too. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. And then with K-pop, just continually to just, it's like a trajectory of this. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, I feel like, with every yeah. song and every year and every mm -hmm. project. Mm -hmm. um, is there anybody in K-pop you have an eye on or that you would love to do a collab with? Mm, at the I, moment. I'm not sure for the moment. I don't, okay. I never like Why do they ask this question? Hey, whatever, it's fine. Like thought of, mm -hmm. but yeah. Maybe, you know, no. to collab with someone, I'll be like, always, yeah. always listening. Yeah. Always got open air. Mm -hmm. We love it. And then as time's flying, we're coming up on <laughs> the holidays already. Oh. Do you have oh, yeah. plans for it? Have you started shopping or oh. anything like that? And also, that? like, somebody as big as Lisa shouting you out, you can get a whole career from that. You can. Um, she's done covers of songs, and, like, those songs blow up. You know what I mean? And it can give you a whole career, but some people don't want a career out of somebody else, you know? So it's like those kinds of questions, like, it, it doesn't, like, even though I do think it should be fine for, like, idols to talk about other idols, and I, I wish it was more, like, 
they could be friends and they could publicly like talk about each other and like smile at each other and hug each other and like I don't know why there is like this weird thing where they can't be friends and it bothers me and I wish they could be <laughs> <laughs> right I'm the worst um for me um I really want to go meet my family in Thailand mm -hmm. because I haven't seen them for like you know almost two years but I just <sighs> met my mom she she came to see me like three weeks ago <laughs> okay that's anyway, cute I, I really want to go to thailand yeah Good holidays are here and you know so many different coffee shops they do their twist on drinks do you have like a favorite oh. holiday classic oh, i love this question <laughs> i'm a chocolate lover Ooh. so i would say hot chocolate me too for mm. sure some about i like, love me holiday, some chocolate like, chocolatier and chocolatier if that's a word you know they just get uh, <laughs> this uh, is the time chocolate. to drink it you drink it year round though like all the time. I don't right? like dark chocolate just, though. Like I love me some week. milk chocolate. Every week. Yeah. Gotta Hot hit chocolate. that quota. Yeah. Love it. So you're gonna have a busy schedule coming chocolate up. Chocolate quota. Be all over. What's something you do to take time for yourself and ensure you have like a good mindset and mental health to stay on track? What's some of your things you like to do? Like what I talk, like what I say to you is like I call my mom. Mm -hmm. like, and sometimes when I rest like at home, I just playing with my cats. Mm. It's really like helps a lot with mm -hmm. the Oh my gosh. Yeah. I think that's scientifically proven. Like yeah. cats yeah. or dogs. And do you know that pet therapy? Oh, it's a thing. I, look, I feel down. The cats in like my college, me. when I was going to college, <laughs> they had like dogs and like, I think it was just dogs that would come in. I think it was in the library or somewhere. I don't, I don't think it was the library, but it was somewhere. Um, and you could like go like pet them and like go hang out with dogs because it is therapeutic to like hang out with dogs and like be around them. They just de stress you. And they just like be like in this like side of me. It's like they know. But it's already like stress like it's gone. Wow. Yeah. But it's, it's like your cats know like oh she needs know, some they help. Know, they know. Kind of oh, like yeah, cats how know. They sit when it rains. Animals you know. know. That? When it's about to rain. Whoa. I, I didn't, I <laughs> That's didn't like a know Midwest that. thing. That's a Midwest <laughs> American thing. Oh, like okay. cows sit before it rains. Okay. So really? your cats are like that with today. sadness. I learned one today. <laughs> yeah. The ra the cats rain in that. sadness. That's how they know. Yeah. Um, are you a podcast girl at all? Do you like podcasts? I never heard of it. Yeah, it's like, you know, it, we're just so there's so many different things with audio now mm. and we well, have so many know. podcasts. I was just curious if you listen to anything like that. But you probably are so busy. Don't I have time. Never to, heard, I have to check it out. Yeah. Like if you recommend Yeah. Me. I'll get you one. I do one. I'll send it to you. Oh, <laughs> See okay. if you like okay. if you have some downtime. Um Why is it cute? <laughs> like he's actually really cute. Oh my god. Like who what are, are you? Passion projects you working on. Do you have anything like lanes you want to go down in the future? Mm, I haven't think about it yet, mm -hmm. but I would love to try like like I feel like fashion you would Ooh. you know do really well Ooh. in she would uh, kill that fashion. i mean look at that jacket really? you're killing it the uh, nails the pink the it's rings like, it's all color coded i have pink. one thing on i try my best uh, <laughs> i'm doing me um i don't know i like to take pictures oh really photography then yeah i want to learn like how to set set the light and stuff yeah. i wanted to learn but it's hard i have no time so that's so cool Girl, um, do you have any like bonus instagram I, account fun fact to of pictures? my whole life i've always wanted to be a photographer since i was like literally a baby like i had a camera when i was a kid and i would take pictures of like the snow and like of everything it is so hard i thought it was gonna be like easy lighting and all that like taking pictures for me is easy like settings and all that i can figure it out it's the lighting that is like so hard i like, I don't get it. No, 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 no. Because no, people, no. you don't have a burner? Yeah, no, not yet, not yet. Uh, but I, yeah. but I, um, I have my, like, own photo books. Came out, like, already, like, two. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, uh, we're so excited for the debut album, your so mm -hmm. first solo project. Yeah. Um, oh. And it's so nice, all the things you do for your fans. So, like, last wrap-up, anything you'd like to uh, say to all the fans who will be watching this? Oh, like... <laughs> Um, I miss them so so much. Like I miss the vibe. Like I miss the concert. I miss the stage with them in front of me. Mm -hmm. Like because I, when I, when I was like um during my solo, um when I f like I go like I'm on stage. I don't have like them standing in front of me. Mm. So I feel kind of like you know I'm I really miss them mm. because they always like give me a good energy all the time yeah i really miss them and then yeah, yeah i want every everything to be like safe mm -hmm. like in a good place like back to normal and we can like meet up again 
I really look forward to it. Oh, we cannot wait. And we're getting there. You can feel it. We're so close. Mm-hmm. Um, and so glad we got to talk to you before mm-hmm. everything kicks off. Because I wouldn't I'm sure say you're we're gonna, close. I know you can't say all this stuff, but it's going to be coming soon. And again, we're just so excited for it. So thank you so much for thank doing you. this Odyssey check-in. Uh-huh. Lisa, wish I had a whole crowd here like you just mentioned for <laughs> people here. But you and me, we got it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. That was a good interview. That, that was a good interview. A um, couple things I wanted to say. First of all, he is a cutie and he just seems like a good person. So first of all, love that. Um, second of all, her voice. <laughs> Third of all, yeah, he asked some good questions. I low-key really like that he asked about the podcast thing because I feel like nobody really asked that. And it's such a like normal thing. Like I feel like people just like listen to podcasts and just like wanting to know if she listened to podcasts. I think it's a cute question. Selena Gomez ones was a, was a little bit like... Like Osuna Singh, Megan Rap, and me together, clever. First of all, this I would love. I would love for them to perform together. I think it would be chef's kiss. It would blow up the internet. Like everybody would be so shook. Um, but yeah, her talking about like not being able to like see her fans during her solo. I just realized that like her solo after so many years and she wasn't able to perform in front of anybody. And her promotion was so short, like, so short, and she wasn't able to perform in front of her fans. Like, that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. But yeah, overall, it was a good interview. Um, I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you guys have anything else you guys want me to react to, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!